Howdy folks, my name is Damon from RC Scan Models and today I'm back with you with another kit. Today we are looking at Bandai's 112 scale sand trooper. It's a uh, figure type kit, it's a snap together uh, kit that clips together um, just like uh, all their other figure range in their uh, aircraft and jets, uh, not jets but the um, spaceships and stuff is all clipped together kit so it shouldn't require any glue. I have built the Falcon and that is somewhat clipped together but it did require a little bit of glue so let's take a look at this one so what's inside this one it's a night this is what you get for uh options and stuff it is in japan language because it is imported you get different weapons different pouches the shoulder pad could be in different colors so you get the orange white or the black i'm, I'm not sure what they actually mean i think it might be to do with rank on the song trooper um, different hands and obviously because it's all poseable you can pose his arms and legs and so it's nicely done this side of the kit um, I just imagine that's the kit number is a 0197348 I can't see a shorter number it is licensed by Disney because obviously they've got the rights for it now um, this is not in bags because I have had a look at this kit and I was doing something else with this kit, that's why it's not in bags at the moment. But you get your usual parts. So here is the uh, manual and worksheet. Nicely in colour, some parts are in black and white, some are in colour, so just bear that in mind. And so it is Disney licensed and Lucasfilm in, Lucasfilm. Uh, Sand Trooper. Nice images of the movie, you've got tons of reference out there. Um, it is a pull out page, so your first step here is in black and white, um, and then step one it shows you what you'll be working on, so it's the shoulder pad, the helmet and chest plate, and then obviously everything just clips together nicely. If you have these little symbols here, which are two little dots type or digits, means it's a click fit and when it clicks and makes a noise it's in tightly and it's incorrectly so obviously the front of the face the rear and then the internals the head and the sides and the visor and the goggles this is the uh, internal chest plate with the uh, ball joints so you can move his shoulders and arms um, you can paint it as you work your way along but I think the white plastic is perfect for the stormtrooper itself the black parts you could probably get away with paint you get away with leaving them as is but you can paint them again but i'll probably just build it and then just work for it and then it should be more, more than sufficient with this um and then obviously the front plate goes on and then the aerial then this part is for the neck movement and this is the waist and then attaching the waist and your chest together you've got a couple of shoulder pads to be put in and then you're attaching your main shoulder pad and the head and that makes that first assembly um, step two they're calling out for the lower waist and groin area and so you'd be putting those parts together and then you've got one of the uh, legs you've got the right leg to do and again you've got the uh, ball joints and hips and ankles and thighs and, every, and obviously you've got the moving parts as you work your way along and then left leg is second same this is process repeat and then here we are touching the belt you've got uh, ammunition pouches even though they use laser weapons so I, I quite don't quite understand that um, and then you've got the right arm shoulder ankles and ball joints and stuff like that left arm is the same it pe repeat the process and then prepping your base and um, you get different options for the clear base you've got one with a uh, cut out for the foot to sit into stop the figure from falling over uh, and if you're not sure about the figure being sturdy enough you can stick this weird piece into his bum <laughs> to hold him up in place um, here is your sprue layout and then it goes into colour on, on certain segments so the backpack you see here there's 
three different options of backpacks. So backpack A, B and C is different layout and obviously you're working your way along for each of the backpacks. So this backpack here is for A because it's in uh, yellow. This part is for the B option, this is for D, this is uh, part D though, this is for C. Um, and then you're working your way along. Um, and then plus here you've got your weapons. Obviously they, a lot of the weapons are based on World War II weapons. So you've got an MG60, is it? I think that's based off. Um, not sure what that's based off. Or that one. The pistol. And then the colour call that's for the actual storm trooper itself is here. So like I say, all the plastic parts are in white, all the black parts are already moulded in black, the blue segments are moulded in blue. The only painting you probably have to do for this though is if you're going to have orange or white shoulder pad. Um, but I will paint the shoulder pad a rubber black as well, because it, some of the black parts are a bit too shiny for my liking, so I'll probably end up painting some of the parts a bit of a rub rubbery black or a flat black. And these blue parts just look a bit too too bright or it looks more purpley blue compared to what's in the uh, film and hit the reference material. It's a more um, uh, it's like a uh, Air Force blue. A good match for that is FX18 from Tamir is a good match for that type of blue. Um, you do get the colour call outs and obviously they're <clears throat> in there. Japan language and I I don't know what the real reference is and I, I don't even know what paint that, what paint that is. So, so the very first sprue we have here is all your black components. So we have the uh, front of the face, some of the uh, shoulder pads on the inside and then obviously you've got white parts over the top of that. This is the internals of the chest, the groin area, this is part of the uh, plate which is not needed. Um, the feet, the thighs, looks like more pads, different type of hands for different poses. Here's your weapons. You've got the MG60 and then the smaller rifles. I'm not 100% sure what they were before. Here's the neck piece. Normally I have a couple of parts in here as well but they've been removed because they do have a, another Stormtrooper, the basic one, just white, so there are, some of the sprues will be quite similar if you've got some of the other kits. They have these parts as well, black, the white and the, uh, the blue parts. Again, this blue looks too purpley to me, I want to change it slightly. This is another rifle, this is that shoulder pad, so this section here at the front, you can either have it black orange or white. There's those weird ammo belts. Again, I don't understand why they have ammo belts when they are laser rifles. This is the radio equipment at the back here. All of this. This is part of the helmet. You only need some of this. You don't need this helmet piece. You need the other one. There is some slight difference. How do they get these different sprues? Because I've tried popping these apart and it seems like they're molded. Um, together, but I don't know, it's, it's strange how to do that, but it is clever. So this section here is all, all the white parts, so this is all the uh, basic armour. It looks perfectly fine to me to leave it as is, because if you look at the real Stormtroopers in the movie, even the um, mod other models and other stuff out there, even the uh, suits that you could wear for cosplay or cosplay, um, it has that plastically shiny look to it, just like this plastic, so leaving this as is, I think is perfectly fine. So you have your boots, your shin pads, your elbow pads, the chest plate, the thighs, the helmet. will require a little bit of painting or decaline. Um, and then the back of the hands, so that's nicely done. And they have such a tiny uh, ejector pins, not ejector pins, but the uh, attachment points are so fine. A good pair of snips shouldn't require much cleanup. up 
and obviously you can see all the locating tabs for where it clips together. This sprue here is black parts but it's rubbery so these are the ball joints pretty cool and the last piece is this, the actual base which is meant to mimic the uh, trooper in the, in the desert because obviously they're called sand troopers but what I will do with this I will use this piece in here which is his foot to slide into to hold him upright and I will put PVA glue over this put real sand down and then when it comes to weathering the storm trip well I use Floyd's sand wash and I just wipe all over him and then that should be more than enough a little bit of dust and sand maybe a little bit of pigments a little bit of dry brushing and I think that'd be more sufficient um, this is for a turkey shoot build um, probably by the time this video gets released the turkey shoot would have been over by then but I am building this for the, the, the turkey shoot weekend so I should have this done in a couple of days So there you are my friends, another kit from Bandai, 112 scale, to sand trooper. Damn good kits so in my opinion, they go together really well. Takes the stress out of building a hard kit if you've had trouble with a kit in the past. If you want a quick mojo build or want something a little bit simpler, these are perfect for that. Um, I have quite a lot of range of Bandai kits. Um, so yeah, like, comment, subscribe and I'll catch you next time.